Fortes with a, another show of strength. Deportivo ahead 2-0 and they are looking good. Boyan! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. That intervention was very necessary. Gomez, now it's Saza. Well read, he sorted that out. Alaves. Uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. And it's Gomez. Alaves have come to the defence of their manager after he came in for some stick regarding some of his decision-making. Boyan! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. Well, that ought to have wrapped it up, Peter. He may well regret that, you know. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Um, mostly good, I should add. Has a swing at it! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And they are cruising away! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Deportivo take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Boyan, time added on will be two minutes. Chooses to go back, goes for goal, it's broken look. And with that, the final whistle. Deportivo, winners of a no contest, they just swamped their opponents in superior quality. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. If you're just joining us, we are already underway. A real chance to break. So what now? Looks to slip it through. Has a shot! Looks to clip it forward. Deportivo were simply a class apart in the corresponding fixture last season. Shoots! He's missed, but not by that far. Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious.
Deportivo have played a lot of games just lately. Squad rotation or tinkering start to become prevalent at times like this. Absolutely. I think nowadays the science that goes on behind the scenes can tell a manager who's in the best shape so he can use that information now to juggle his squad. Just brushed off the ball there. Plays a clip. Shoots! He's delivered all right! And it's Deportivo who take the lead! What about that, Jim Beglin? Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Deportivo get themselves into the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Oh, and he's asking too much with that. Federico Fazio. And that will be the last act of the first half. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. There has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Deportivo go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Plays it out to the flank. Aspas, Denis Suarez, chip through. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Spreads it wide. Plenty waiting in the middle. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Hits one! Really well taken goal. Surely that clinches it! There really is no way back now! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. We have got changes here, from both sides in fact. Deportivo, grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Deportivo... Still 2 mil up and looking now to see it through. Now a chance to break. Tries a through. Boyan! More and more and more and more. They are running riot. And they are cruising away. The contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely... Hits one! Looking to shoot! It's in! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has. And that's that. Deportivo enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. Your reflections then, Jim. Deportivo simply imposed their strength from...
Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. The teams then, Deportivo against Barcelona. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. And as you can see, we've already started here. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? For me, the man to look out for is Andres Iniesta. Not just because of his incisive passing, but for his dribbling talent too. I mean, he can penetrate defensive lines with ease and he does it all with such elegance. And he would be the obvious choice. With... Has a swing at it! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Oh, it's a real opportunity missed there. He's done all the hard work getting to the ball and all he needed to do was get some control on it. And back to base. Vidal. And it's Aspas. Gomis with the ball through. Going through. It's gone a long way up and away. Deportivo are on a great run. Five wins in a row. Forward it goes. Now it's Luis Suarez. Barcelona have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Teller. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? It's a loose ball. Goalkeeper's ball. Gomis. David Luiz. He's left his man. He's had a shot. Oh, great save. Real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. so close to half time too affords them that extra little psychological edge and when it's one of your main men that's doing the damage it just grows the togetherness and it grows the spirit that's no fluke it's what he was there for oh look there's only one player who merits all the praise for that not only did he finish it but his instincts for being where he was absolutely top notch final action of the first half and there we are off they go for half time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half but there has only been that one goal it is very very tight i'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline they'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job deportivo head into the dressing room pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead analysis to come during the break so we're already into the second period. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step... Great leap! There is the genius of Luis Suarez! And it's another really good show of character. I love the spirit and togetherness they muster. Never know when they're beaten. Great header. Made it look easy. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. on the touchline a change about to occur and 
That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was close for goal. making the last of his changes Barcelona were grateful to the genius of their manager last time round look to alter the intended game plan was a daring move on the manager's part it wasn't quite working for him and he accepted his mistake and I think what followed merits a lot of praise in with a header to get it forward quickly concentration levels are very good and so is the commitment this game could yet yield a winner shoots oh and they really should have been made to pay well I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay and he's there to cut it out aimed long and direct battles to win it back and there goes the final whistle well, no winner here but an intriguing game the result probably a fair reflection it has finished all square any reflections on what you've seen Jim? Deportivo can always take more positives from a result like this yes there is some tidying up to do but some real promise too well that's it for today thank you Jim and goodbye Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Bordeaux against Deportivo. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. And may I say a big hello to everyone. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Bouyan passes it through. And the finish! Goal! 
goal. And it's Deportivo who take the lead. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Deportivo to have an early lead. Good start. Casillo. Sankara. And it's Sitwell. Scored inside the first 10 minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Has a hit! He scores! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Deportivo have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Shade too heavy, keeper can pick that up. It's a fabulous position. Defence has got rid of that. Sidwell. Sidwell. Looks like a good ball through. Basio plays it forward. Here's the whistle for half time. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Deportivo go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. And we're already into the second period. He's had a go! They are rampant! And surely that settles it! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Is it in? It's there! Yet another goal in an awesome performance! They are in complete charge! Deportivo are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Deportivo tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Can he score? Here is Shaheen. Going through. Chuck, he's gone for it! What about it? Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Well, I think we've gone past humiliation now. This could be doing some real psychological damage. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Changes here from both sides, in fact. Deportivo totally rampant here. So, what now? Cut out in the Bordeaux. nick of time. They're enjoying lots of possession, but they just can't find any penetration. Bordeaux uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Aimed low and direct. And it's base. Looks to slip it. Going for goal! <laughs> Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle.
Deportivo were irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result, a comfortable win. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, qualification may have been confirmed with a game to spare, but they were determined to end on a high, almost as if they're sending a message to say, we're not backing off on this. We want it.